While running the desert marathon, on the fourth day, you get caught in a sudden sandstorm, right in between two checkpoints. Following the track becomes impossible, and you soon get lost in a cloud of dust and sand. Blinded by the wind, breathing with difficulty, the sun setting in a direction you can't tell, you start wondering if you'll make it alive, if you'll survive the desert. Ooh. Oh, okay, they weren't kidding. So we're caught in a sandstorm then, and apparently we were we were in a desert marathon. Oh, there's a building over there. I can't say that I'm too familiar with that. I know people like modify vehicles and stuff to go across deserts, but a desert marathon? That just seems like such a brutal environment to go across. Oh, we're taking damage too. Imagine breathing all of this in. Oh no, that cannot be good for your lungs, right? <laughs> Let's get out of this. Get inside. What are we doing here? Oh. Oh, we collapsed. Wait, what? What is this? Equip the water bottle in the hotbar. Press tab to open the inventory. Right click on the water bottle to move it to the hotbar. Okay. And this is us. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Because this is definitely not the same place where we just went down, right? Yeah, this isn't even the... Okay, I shouldn't be asking too many questions. I guess this is a good a time as any to bring you guys in. So welcome everyone to a game called Star Sand. You guys told me about this a while back and I'm only really getting around to it now. And apparently this game has got some quirkiness about it. One of the things, I can't hold it in. I'm just going to tell you guys. <laughs> One of the things <laughs> is that you can apparently tame a camel. <laughs> At least a few people said that. I don't know if it's true, but I've never done that before. And I thought that sounded amazing. So yeah, it's got like a really pretty environment in a weird way. It reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. All right, left click to drink. Let's go. Let's drink this up. Get some hydration up in us. Right, let's actually see. Craft a crude knife. Let me just see. Let me get familiar with this. So, day survive zero. This is us. So, this is literally just everything we own right now. We got shoes, socks, the shorts, the t-shirt. Looks like we can put something on our head too. Considering that we're in the desert, I would probably sacrifice the shorts and then wrap those around my head. I'd keep the shirt on because... I don't want it burning my uh, my torso on my back up or anything like that. Sun protection, cold protection. Okay, yeah, the works. Craft a crude knife. Press C to open the crafting panel. All right. What are we working with then? C. Crude knife. There it is. Melee weapon crafted from stone fragments. The most basic bushcraft tool. And we need two stone. Okay, got it. Where's the stone? Okay, pick up. Nice. Okay, so pretty pretty standard stuff. Find some stones, break them up, make a little knife with them. We got it. Yeah, it's weird though. It's got like, it reminds me of, I cannot, it might be the infected. When the infected first started up, it was very similar to this. Like very bare bones, but it almost looks quite polished at the same time. This building seems like it's out of nowhere too. There's nothing else around it. That's so weird. Right, let's get back inside because I noticed in the bottom left corner there the temperature's going up. You guys see that? When you're in direct line of the sun, 33, and you can see that arrow, our temperature's going up. So we want to stay in that shade. All right, let's see. Craft and crude knife. Let's craft one of those. Got a little timer there. What's that going to give us access to? Can we start digging with that or something? I'm not entirely sure. Like when it comes to areas like this. How you actually... I can see a tree over there. How you actually go about deciding which way to head in. Put down a yucca plant. Is that one there? I've got to go out all the way over there. Like, this is my lifeline right now. I don't really want to go too far from this in that blaring heat. All right, let's go then. Oh, I shouldn't run though, right? Because that's going to heat me up. Actually, does it have that? Let's see. 33. Uh, I don't know if it's really making a difference. Oh, wait. 34. That went up kind of quick. It might just be the heat, though, because we're in direct sunlight. Oh, 35. No, yeah, it seems like it's going up. <laughs> and I've not got a lot of water left, too. Oh, another rock. I'll take that and break this down. Okay, so we're used to this. Yucca plant as well. Like, this grows in some really weird locations. I'm, I'm guessing it's, like, in hot temperatures that you find this kind of plant. I didn't realize it was actually real, either. Dismantle the crude knife. Select the item for dismantle for inventory and press dismantle button. Okay. Uh, 
Wait. Dismantle? You have obtained stone item dismantled. Why do we do that, though? Do we not... Oh, craft a crude axe. Okay, yeah, we're in the direct heat. No, okay. Let me get back over into the shade. When it's too hot, try and stay in the shade. Or jump in the water to cool off. Water? Yeah, the only place where I'm seeing green is there, right? And if I'm not mistaken, the only thing I know about being in a desert, but it's, it's so dangerous because it can be a mirage. Your own body can become your worst nightmare in an area like this, right? Let's see then. Let's try and get this axe crafted. Crude axe. There we go. And cordage. Where was that? Oh, there we go. Cordage. Let's make two of those. What else do we need? Oh, that's it. We got everything else. Okay. But yeah, it's in an environment like this. Your brain can play tricks on you. If you've never heard about it before, you can have like... There's there's an actual term for it. And I'm not thinking about Mirage either. There's something that the sun can do to your brain. It's, it's technically like sunstroke. And it can make you see, hear things. It's like when people have been in the ocean too long. And they, they have this thing where they just get this... I want to say like mental state where they just take their life jackets off and they just think that they're in safety and just swim off and that's how they eventually drown. But in this scenario, you get things like that too. It's actually terrifying when you read about things like this. Craft a crude axe. Okay, so we've got enough to do that now. Craft a crude axe. Craft. Why are we crafting axes and things though? Shouldn't we be focusing on like covering our head and things first? That's probably what I would do. We've got temporary shells from things like that though. So if we can find, I guess, that tree over there is what's going to do it. Can break all that down and get some shade while we're on the move. Cut down a palm tree. I see it. We're going. Right, I'm just going to test this. So it's actually going up 34. Paying attention to my footsteps. 35. Okay, I don't know if it does make a difference by running. Wait. Is it making a difference? 41. Oh my god. Yeah, that heat is no joke. All right. Can we get shade under that tree? That'd be real nice if we could just get out of direct line of that sun. Yeah, it's going up 43, 44. <gasps> oh, look at that too. You're getting like drip marks coming down the screen from the sweat leaving our body. So that's that's us getting dehydrated too. Let's get out that line of sight from the sun. There we go, 45 and it's going down. <gasps> okay, that's nice. Put down the palm tree. Hell no, not yet. No, we need to get that temperature down first. How are we doing? Oh, yeah, that's really dehydrated us. What's going on? We're okay. It's hot. I know. It's very, very hot. We're in a desert. <laughs> like, we just got to be patient, stay in the shade, and, and hopefully we get that temperature down a little bit. For, it is dropping. Should probably drink this, right? There's something over there. I noticed that too. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> I see a lot of green. All right, I'm going to keep that water there in reserve just in case I need it. I'm trying to work out what you have to worry about in a desert too. I'm thinking, like, snakes and things. 36. Oh, it's kind of going up. Is the sun moving? Yeah, I think it is. Let's get out of that. 36. Okay, it's kind of staying there, isn't it? Right. Let's chop this down. That's what it's asking us to do. We're really not doing so good straight off the bat, though. <laughs> right now, I'm kind of considering going back over to that shelter. Don't think I can drag this, though. Cut a palm frond into stems. Okay. Frond? We're used to this. Familiar stuff to us. Drop them on the floor and then... Oh, cut for stems. Okay, I didn't need to pick them up. All right, there we go. Come on. One, two. Keep hacking away. I didn't see that because I just picked them up. Oh, yeah, we're <laughs> we're really not doing good. <gasps> okay. This is going to be one of those type deals, is it? Where everything is brutal. I get it. How we haven't fainted yet with this temperature, I will never know. Cut. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Break this thing up. Let's get the sticks. I'm so tempted to just head in that direction in hopes of finding water right now. Just going to get a few of these sticks. I'm guessing this is to make a shelter with, though, right? Like, we're going to need that when we get down there. That sun is going to be overbearing. But we do have the trees as well to take shelter from. Oh, get, out, get in the shade. Don't know how many of these it needs me to make. I'm just going to grab these. Find water. Okay. I'm hoping <laughs> it's this way. Because if I'm supposed to be going back to that, like, building... With the strange markings, then, yeah, <laughs> it's over for me. And we've got no water left. No, it's just sand inside this thing. The water bottle's empty. Are we going to make that? Oh, that's going to be so close. I'm running. 
I'm running until things are looking really, really bad, and then I'm just going to slow it down. Let's try and get as far as possible. I know this is against <laughs> what I would usually do, but I'm just trying to cover some ground while I've got a little bit of water left in my body because I'm sweating really bad right now. My temperature's going up too. Can we not do anything with these things? They're everywhere. You're thirsty. It's hot. Yep. That's so weird, whatever that is on that hill. It's like a tower or something poking up out of the ground. It reminds me of that monolith thing. There's nothing else around. So we go from here to there. I guess investigate. Oh my god, my health is so low. <gasps> Come on. See how the sand's getting dark there? Does that mean there's water? Oh, I see some. Oh, don't be a mirage. Oh, no, no, no. No. We're right there. Not like this. Come on, we're okay. We're right there. Did I take too long, like, chopping them into, into sticks? <laughs> I said this before. I was like, that's no good for anyone if you're just caught out in the sun for too long. <gasps> no! Oh, my God. I was right there. <gasps> the desert claimed you. Okay. I see why you guys wanted me to take a look at this now. When it's too hot, try to stay in the shade or jump in the water to cool off. Oh, I cannot wait to do that. It's one of the worst feelings in the world, like feeling hot and sticky and uncomfortable. Oh, especially at nighttime when you're trying to sleep. It's one of the worst things ever. Imagine just being in this environment, though. And then you see like a little oasis, like what we're heading to. And you know there's water there. You probably wouldn't care what state the water is. You probably should a little bit, but... You would get in there and just cool off. It must feel so nice. I want to ask you guys this too, seeing as though nothing's happening right now. If you had a choice of surviving in a hot environment or a cold environment, which one would you choose? Let me know down in the comments. I think me personally, I'd be cold. I think I do better with the cold. I'm way worse off in the heat. It, it, my brain just breaks as soon as my body starts heating up. And I'm talking like hot temperatures, right? I'm not just talking about uh, <laughs> the temperatures going up a little bit, but... I'm saying in hot temperatures around summertime, I just can't think straight when it's super, super hot. I have to immediately cool down and then focus on what I'm doing because I do get that. Like, I get real bad lapses in concentration because of the heat. That's why this is super uncomfortable or the thought of being in a scenario like this is super uncomfortable. All right, we should be good. Let's take a little sip. Oh, there's something there too. What's that? Can we cool off? Oh, just even being in here. Like at shin height or ankle height or something. Hold to refill drink. Oh, wait. We just took a big drink of water there. So R to refill. Got it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that must be such a nice feeling. Give me some more. Whoa. Oh, is it because it's still hot? Okay, I get it. Let's get a little bit deeper then. Oh, there it is. Look at that temperature. Oh. Let's get up. 37. Can we just stay here? That's it. We're saved. <laughs> we're done. Craft a pickaxe and use it on a deposit. So something like this. So where's the pickaxes then? Pickaxe. What does that take? We need some more stone and some more cordage. So I see a yucca plant over there. Oh, God. This must feel so nice. Don't really want to drink while I'm underwater. That seems like a really... Oh, what's this? Desert fruit. Like a watermelon? I don't want to destroy that in case... Oh, little frog! Oh, no, don't get distracted. We're surviving. All right, where's the uh, yucca plant? What's this? I don't think we can break that down. Switch to the crude axe. A lot of this is familiar to me because... I don't know if you guys know this, but... <laughs> I've survived recently on a tropical island. Oh! It's a goat! Let me get in the shadow or the shade for a minute. There we go. You can pick fruit from a palm tree if you climb it. Get close to the trunk and press space bar. Oh, so it legit is like... Oh, yeah. No, it's legit like that. Okay, coconut. Nice. Hydrate again. I'm gonna do it twice. Try and get all that full. Okay, three times. Just taking little sips. That's fine. Break this down. That is a food sauce. I don't want to lose eyes on that. If I need to hunt that thing, I'm absolutely going to. That'll give us a few extra days of survival. So we can use this for the cordage. Take these sticks in case we need them. Another one there. Oh, yeah, we're sweating again already. Good job we got this. This is like a, the perfect area, though. Like, you can survive a few days at least in this scenario. As long as you've got a food supply, you should be golden. Right, and we needed the cordage, right? Let's craft a few of those. And 
Was that everything we needed? Cordage and then stones. Right, let's have a look around for stones too. We can't break these down. No. Okay. Let's cool off a little bit. That's such a weird feeling you get even watching that. You guys getting that too? Like that relief from the heat? <laughs> let's go into water again. We can hold our breath for a minute. Okay, there we go. Right, 36 degrees Celsius. We're looking okay. And this one, yes, yeah, stone deposit. That's perfect. So I did go around and have a look. But this one is the uh, one that we got to break down. It's got all these rocks. Because if I try it on this, this is all it does. It just kind of gives you that feedback that that's, <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Now let's stay cooled off. And we got to craft a desert balm. So a soothing ointment that provides protection from the sun. Oh, so like aloe, right? That heals burns. Perfect. Craft and place a marker. One of these things? Used for marking a location. It will appear on the map once placed. Oh, nice. So we can tell where we've gone or where, we've, where we want to head in the direction of in case of... Oh, you know what it's going to be? There's going to be like sudden sandstorms, I guess. And we're going to have to use those markers to determine what direction we're supposed to be headed in. Unless I'm massively wrong with that and it's nothing to do with it at all. <laughs> right, I guess let's place it there. Rotate the item with arrow keys. That's actually really cool looking too. Look at that with the cordage and the sticks that we got from the, uh, from the palm trees. Let's get back in that shade. That works. Okay, open the map and place an icon. Ooh, okay. Left click on an icon to set it. Left click again to place it. Right click to delete. Oasis Ruins Pyramid. Marker turret starting. Okay, so I guess at this point then, when I said on the intro there's some quirkiness to this, apparently there's something otherworldly about this game. And that was another big draw to Star Sand. I guess the key is in, or the clue is in the title. But yeah, I'm really interested in where they've gone with it. So... This was the shelter. Is this the marker where it's pointing to? Yeah, it is. Look. So we're actually pointing this direction now. This is huge. So we've got all this area to explore in that unbelievable heat. So let's grab that and we'll place this like there. That works, right? I don't know if it needs to be any closer than that. On any animal you can find. I love the fact that they've just made me do that, by the way. We're actually drawing the map as we find things. And that makes a lot of sense. Oh, frog. Oh, you guys already know. <laughs> frog or a toad is on the menu. Wait, what would that be? Frog? Yeah, that'd be a frog, right? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a frog or a toad expert. Somebody let me know. Where's it going? Can I not just craft like a bow and arrow? That seems like the, the play here. What's that going to take? Some cordage and the arrows. Some more cordage. Right. How much of that can we make? Let's just, yeah, let's do that. Four. Fine. We got the bow. And there's our first arrow. To ignite a fire arrow, knock it and place the tip over a flame. Ooh, so you can just like hover over a fire and do that. Oh shit, okay, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's crouch. Be patient. Let our food do all of the work. Come on, Mr. Frog, come back in. I hope I can take this thing out, by the way. Because <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to hunt a deer. And I lost eyes on where the other one went. I think it went over the dune that way or something. Come on, frog. Nice and calm. No. I'm going to have to get closer to it. <laughs> Stupid frog. Give me this. Okay. Just in the distance. Wait, did we get it? Oh, I did get it. Oh, yeah, I nailed it. Look at that. I got it in both arms and its head. I s <laughs> what is going on with that frog? Oh. <gasps> Demon frog. Press E to loot. We're looting the frog. I love that. Give me that meat. Perfect. So find some meat and cook it on the campfire. We've got to make a campfire now. So breaking down another palm tree. Yeah, we're going to burn through a lot of our resources we have here. So we have to manage what we're chopping down, where we're chopping it down and stuff. Let's absolutely take on more water. There we go. One, two, three. Pick it up and... Oh, God, we've been through this dance before. Is this going to do what I think it's going to do? What's that? Coconut seed? We'll hang on to that. Oh, no, wait, no, that's all planting and everything, isn't it? It's taking up inventory space. Uh, What don't we need? Got plenty of sticks. We've got the arrows. No, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. I guess I should just hydrate with this. That's taking away that hunger pain. Oh, yeah, the sun is getting real low. 
All right, let's see if we can make a, uh, a campfire now. My inventory was full, so I couldn't do it. There we go. It's making... Oh, it's getting real dark fast. <laughs> this is a good time to craft that fire. I'm a little bit nervous now about how things are going to go because... I don't know if you guys know this, just because this kind of environment is extremely hot, or can be extremely hot throughout the day. At nighttime, temperatures in deserts can really plummet. So we want to get this campfire on the go. There it is. And eat it open. So food. Let's get that there. Cook food, wood. Uh, can we split that? Ah, oh, you know what? Let's just get it going. Oh, nice. Okay. I didn't even have to do it myself. That's a bonus. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm not going to question it. All right, we're almost there. What else can we craft while we're waiting for that to cook? What did I need for the cloth? Raw hemp. Yeah, I haven't come across any of that yet. Leather canteen. Yeah, we're going to need an animal. Farm plot. Oh, we can make farms. So we can grow, um, so we can grow like a whole bunch of stuff. We can get like a little settlement or something. That would be real nice. Surviving in a barren desert like this. Wooden bed. Crude spear. Something's telling me that I should probably craft a spear. Oh, straw hat. Oh, I want a straw hat really bad. Oh, it's probably going to tell me though, right? Yeah, craft and place a shelter. There it is. And give me that. Can we just eat that straight up now. All cooked. There it is. Okay, we're definitely going to need more than that, but it's fine for now. Juicy fruit that contains a useful oil, essential for making flammable mixture. I found some dates on a, on a palm tree. Restores... 12 to 15 hunger. Oh, give me that. Nice. All right. Nice little snack. Got some logs here from the previous tree, but I don't know if that is going to be enough. What else was it? Needed the palm fronds, right? Yeah, that's why I broke this down. Oh, wait. Is that... Is that a different... Oh, it's, it is different looking than the other ones we've taken down. Oh, it's definitely getting dark. Oh! Aurora Borealis. My, my heart was crushed a few weeks back when somebody told me that Aurora Borealis, when they went to see it, it wasn't all that exciting. Because I've always wondered if seeing this in real life, if it's as beautiful as I hope it is. And somebody told me that. I can't remember what it was when I brought it up, but somebody said that they went to see it and it wasn't that great. And I was I was so upset for that person. I was like, oh no, that must be such a heartbreaking this. Look at this. Imagine just seeing that out. Like, it must be such a surreal experience. But then, if it's not that great, or if your expectations are too high, then it might look crap. And the shelter, craft. Oh, we're doing it. What have I got left? The arrows, the cordage. What was this thing again? Oh, the desert balm. Fronds. Fuel duration. Okay, this is for a fire. I've got to keep an eye on this. Like, what everything does. 80 seconds. Yeah, okay. We're, we're good. We're good. We're doing okay. We uh, Have we made that yet? There we go. It's done. So, where do we want to place this down? I guess here's fine. Like, right amongst the uh, the bushes and things. Yeah, that works. We get in there. Oh, yeah. Our little home away from homes. Press E to sleep, R to save, Y to dismantle. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, I found another yucca plant, but I'm keeping my eye on that temperature. It's down to 13 now. You guys saw we reached, like, 50 in the height of the day, so... I want to make sure I'm keeping my eye on stuff like that. Let's get rid of that stick for a second. Pick all these stems up and then turn them into cordage, right? There we go. Craft those up. And I think it was just stone that we needed. I didn't really see how many uh, yucca plants we have in this area. We've got another frog over there. <laughs> you get to live another day, frog. Add another desert fruit. Can we just eat that? Oh, no. What was that? You are poisoned. Oh, my God. Uh, how do we counteract the effects of the poison? Provides protection from the sun, heals, burns. Probably should have used that during the day, but that'll do for tomorrow. Have we got any effects or anything? I can see that in the lower left corner that, that shows we're poisoned, but... Wait, what kind of fruit was that? With the hammer in your hand, press mouse one. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that chunked a lot again. Oh, I think I've just got to stay topped up on food and water. That's going to be my uh, my safest bet. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I thought that if you can see the outside of the screen, that's actually like a cold indicator. I thought it was something to do with the poison, but I was just getting mixed up with it. The poison is now gone. We're okay. We're over it. <laughs> and now we're just feeling the chill. So let's warm ourselves up a little bit. And then what we got to do is switch to the hammer and then break out foundation. And beautiful, right? We've got that up and running. Oh, it snapped too. Oh, that's so nice. 
when you have it where things don't snap into place when you're building. Oh, it's such a nightmare. The tutorial ends here. You are now on your own. Survive the desert. Find out what happened and get back home. Okay, can do. Right, let's take a little victory drink. Actually, two. Just to top us off. And we've got rid of that. Ooh. Oh. That's so incredibly pretty. Whoa. What? What? <laughs> what was that sound? You can't do that. I've literally just decided to get some sleep and then <laughs> we wake up in pain. Oh, look at that temperature again. Like it's, it's immediate. Drink up. Fill up on everything. And what was it I wanted to make? I wanted to make the straw hat. Okay, let's fill the bottle up and we are good to go. Okay, fire's still burning. Can we actually cancel the fire? Okay, we can take that back. Good to know. And how much was the straw hat? It is cordage. Right, let's go and find a yucca plant. I want a hat. There's breakfast. A little bit high. A little bit low. We got it. Third tries a charm. Give me that. Oh, I got it perfect as well. <laughs> I did see something up here too. Let's grab... What don't I really care? Let's, let's use this. So we've got a little bit of protection from the sun. And then I can do a tiny bit of adventure. I don't want to go too far away from all this. Oh yeah, look at that. In the bottom left corner, you can see the, uh, the sun isn't actually affecting us right now because of what we've used. Yeah, look this. Let's go see where it is. Got a full water bottle. I'm not too worried about it. We can always get back. I just don't want to lose my way if a, a massive sandstorm rolls in. Look at that. That's where we came from in the beginning. We can't see back over there. We can't see that building. It's a cool way of doing things. So you have to, you do genuinely have to think about using your map, especially early on. And that is definitely not a normal thing. Oh, there's another one back there. This is so cool though. Again, super basic, but like you have to stay on your toes with the survival aspect of it. Because look, our hunger's getting low. We're going to have to think about getting back, getting some food onto the fire, staying near the water for a bit, planning what we're going to use to go out and explore. Because that is, again, that's our safe haven. The further away we get from that, the more in danger we're going to be in. This is... What on earth is that? I have absolutely no idea what that's supposed to be. Is it just a, a marker or something? That's cool. That, that to me, like... That's screaming something to do with space though, right? I think that's what we uh, we spotted from from way out there when we was coming into the uh, oasis. And we should probably mark those too, just in case I, I need to know what they're for. All right, we got cordage. Did I want to go ahead and make a hat? Okay, I need a little bit more. You're just a weird thing sticking out of the ground. Oh, that looks more like a building though. Oh, what does that say? Their number grows faster once they know where I am. Wait, what? They grow in number once they find me. Well, that's terrifying. Who's they? Their number grows faster once they know where I am. Right, let's get this rock. I have no idea what that's supposed to be about. And I, can't, I don't want to spoil it either. Like in terms of finding out what threats there are. Obviously, I, I know there's something otherworldly going on. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see where that leads to. Okay, let's get our hat. Let's craft that up. Oh, we're going to look so good. This reminds me of like the Raiden hat. Super cool. And I hope we get to see it on here too. <laughs> is it going to be in here or is it going to just pop on our head? And it's good. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> so cool. Yes. Okay, right. We've got a little bit of shade now too. All right, let's get this coconut. In celebration of our brand new hat. We'll take that and chow down on both of those. Yeah, things are looking good. Right, drink. Fill up on everything. Okay, so we found out a little bit more about what's going on now. So we're able to make a fire. We're at least able to survive from day to day now. I'm just going to make sure that I manage the resources in the area properly because I'll run out quick otherwise. If I can find another oasis, perfect. I also need to know where those things are leading to and kind of getting a built up 
map of the area because we can do that with this thing now and place things down. Apparently there's pyramids as well. I don't know what that's about. And there's like words over there that say there's going to be like more of something coming in once they know where I am. It's all a mystery so far. But if you want to see more of this, if you want to come along on this adventure surviving in a, a very, very strange desert, then you guys know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.